Hello everyone. I hope everyone is well. This is Debs and this is your Full Moon in Taurus Collective reading. Now this Full Moon in Taurus occurring on October the 28th at 4.24pm EDT will be at 5 degrees and 9 minutes of Taurus opposite the Sun in Scorpio. Now, this is a partial lunar eclipse and will emphasize matters we need to resolve, lessons we need to learn, and situations we may need to leave behind. It's time for the new. This eclipse will affect those with personal planets and points at approximately 0 to 10 degrees of the fixed signs of Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius most significantly. So, collective. I feel, having come out of meditation, that I may be connecting with two people who are unattached, but who may have known each other in the past. Now, we could be looking at two people who knew each other in a first job, even at university, first love, childhood sweetheart, that sort of thing. Both these people are single. I have to admit, I feel I'm connecting with two people who may be in their 50s or even 60s. So without further ado, let's get into this and see what transpires. I'm still lost in the vision. I saw two people looking at old photographs individually, thinking about each other. Should I reach out? I wonder if they're with anyone, you know? Okay. So Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the full moon in Taurus reading for the collective. Partial lunar eclipse, 28th of October, 2023. What do we have for the collective? Thank you, Michael. <laughs> oh, I'm seeing a guy looking at himself in the mirror and he's saying, okay, I've got to do a clean shave. He's sucking his belly in. He's saying, all right, I think I should go down to the gym and try and lose a little bit of weight. This, I think, is this man wanting to look his best when he meets this woman again. He's, I have to admit, he's actually, I can see this man stroking a beard in the mirror. He's saying, yeah, that's got to go. It's looking a bit grey. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, have you got a guy smarting himself up? Look, wanting to look his best, possibly. Thank you, Michael. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Kind of nice. Yeah, I can see this guy wandering, wandering into a living room and he's saying to himself, yeah, she was the one that got away. She was the one that got away. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Mm, Ace of Pentacles. So this is someone who is firmly deciding to go for this woman. Yeah, I'm seeing this guy looking at a photograph. He's saying she's still got it. She's still got it. <laughs> okay. This is a Gilded Tarot Royale, by the way, guys, if you want to know. Yeah. So we have someone here taking the lead. Taking the lead. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, because he feels a bit left out in the cold. He's feeling a bit on his own. He could have been struggling financially. This guy could have got divorced. He's talking about this woman's cooking. This woman was a really good cook. He's saying, oh, wow, she was a really good cook. I don't know why that's come through. In the past, Queen of Cups. This is this woman... Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Now, this woman may not actually be a water sign. She could be embodying the energy of the Queen of Cups. Very warm, loving, a homemaker. 
She may have pets. <laughs> I'm noticing these two little dogs down here. She may have pets. But this is someone very kind, very considerate. Mm. Seven of Cups, but I feel this guy had other options and he may have chosen to marry someone else. Now, it could also be that life took over. Maybe these two went to different universities, moved to different areas of the world. I feel as if they lost contact. Now, it could also be that this woman wanted to commit to this man in the past, but he was sat looking at other options. He wasn't ready to commit at the time. She may have headed off to marry somebody else. But what we have here, collective, are two people who are now totally single. One partner may have passed away, it's possible, or we have two people who have divorced, or one person who may have divorced and the other person may never have married. But I feel I'm connecting with two people who were both in their 50s or 60s. I'm feeling that age group. In this man's thoughts, the hangman, he could be thinking about a Pisces with the Queen of Cups in the past. Or what he's thinking about is his future. Who do I want to build my future with? He may be feeling as if he's now looking for a different type of woman. Take that as it resonates. That's what's come through. He's looking for a different type of woman. He's looking for someone embodying the energy of the Queen of Cups. So this man may have married somebody embodying the energy of the Queen of Wands, right? Really sexy, very attractive, a go-getter. And he's now maybe thinking, okay, well, that didn't work out. I'm really wanting to look for someone who is going to be supportive, loving, because that is the energy of the Queen of Cups. In the immediate future, the Ten of Wands. He's feeling very stressed. He may have a lot to deal with in his day-to-day -day life. He could be deeply ensconced in a very serious career. He could be feeling as if he's tired, right? He's tired of being on his own. He's tired of doing everything by himself. He wants a partner. This is a man looking for a partner. Yeah. In this man's fears, the chariot, he's a bit nervous in moving towards her. He's just a bit stressed. Now, she could be a Cancerian with the chariot. He may also be a little bit nervous that there's distance involved between the two of them. These two may live in different areas, different cities, different countries even. He's a bit nervous about that. He's also a bit worried about her reaction if he turns up. He's a bit worried. These two people may be soulmates, but they're very different people. We could be literally looking at an earth sign with all this earth energy here and a water sign. Now, water signs like to swim freely. They're quite fluid. Uh, water signs need to have a certain amount of independence. They can be overly sensitive. And I say that with love because I'm, I'm a water sign. Um, whereas earth signs are more practical they make decisions based on logic and fact. But when they make a decision, they stick to it. Water signs can be a little bit mercurial sometimes. So I think we're dealing with two very different people. But this is someone who is ready to partner up. And he's thinking about this Queen of Cups. Now, in her energy, the Wheel of Fortune. She has moved herself onto a new cycle. She could be on a destined path. She could be very much connected to her intuition, to her spirit guides. This could be somebody spiritual, right? She's on her path. She's progressing. She knows she's heading in the right direction, whereas this masculine is feeling as if he's got the weight of the world on his back. In this masculine's hopes, nine of wands, He's hoping to have the courage to reach out before he loses his nerve. I feel he's been considering this for quite a long time, but he hasn't reached out until this 
particular period of time. But he seems to feel as if he's ready. I'm just getting the energy of, I'm so ready. I'm so ready to sit by the fire with a glass of wine and a nice woman. I'm hearing a really good book, reading the Sunday papers. This is a guy who is just wanting a lovely home environment again. He's wanting to feel nurtured, pampered a little bit, you know, taken care of. A woman who is going to be there if he's not well. And he is thinking about this woman in the past. How lovely she was, but life took them in different directions. He's been struggling on his own a little bit. I think she might have gone down a career route. So she may, she may still be single but she's concentrated on her career or she may have met somebody else that didn't work out and she got divorced but she's definitely progressing in her life and doing quite well whatever she's doing he seems to feel a bit stuck he seems to feel a bit stuck wow guys the outcome is a ten of cups we have two people coming together to build a life I'm hearing it's way past time to build a life. Clarification for this man, five of cups. I feel he's gone through some hardships in his life. He could have suffered illness. He could have suffered financial loss. He could feel as if life hasn't been very kind to him. I think he's been through it. Wow. Ten of swords. So this man has somehow been betrayed. He could have been cheated on by a partner, ended up in the Ten of Swords. He could have had surgery. So he could have faced a serious illness and come out the other side and has been really thinking about his own mortality. You know, I don't want to be by myself for the rest of my life. He's been through it. Now this woman's energy, Two of Pentacles, She's going to be a little bit undecided as to whether or not she really wants to build a relationship with this guy because he got a ship in water. She's not sure she wants to do this because this could be initially a relationship that has to cope with distance. Page of Cups. But she does have emotion for him. She does have emotion for him. Lovely energy. Okay, so collective, underneath the deck, we've got the world. So these two people could live at a distance, or I feel that this masculine in particular has ended a difficult cycle. I think he's ended a relationship, because underneath that, we've got the emperor, which is somebody taking control. Okay, Aries energy. We've got the king of swords. This could be an Aquarius, Libra or Gemini. Somebody who was in a very cold partnership with a Queen of Swords, okay? So I think with a King and Queen of Swords, the Emperor and the world, this masculine has ended a long-term relationship. And I think what he's hoping to do with the Page of Wands is to communicate with this Queen of Cups he knew in the past. He's actually sitting in a very romantic energy with the Knight of Cups. So this is someone who was really hoping that this Queen of Cups is going to be receptive. Beautiful. So collective, we're jumping in. Archangel Michael, why is this masculine sat in the Ace of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles? Because with the Eight of Pentacles, I think he's ended a long-term situation, possibly moved out of a family home, gone through divorce, lost half of his money, and he is recouping his finances. So since this masculine, I think, went through divorce or left a long-term partner, he has sorted out the money and he's now rebuilding his financial foundation. Yeah. Yes, King of Pentacles, possibly a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn or someone who has been concentrating on his finances and his career since he left this Queen of Swords. Mm. Four of Cups, he's had other opportunities. 
other people have been interested in him but he hasn't really been that excited about the opportunities in front of him yeah i think he's been healing from the ending of this cold partnership to be honest mm. seven of wands he's been defensive he has had people interested in him but he's pushed i think other women away He's pushed other women away. Hmm. The Magician, Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini energy. He's realised that what he wants to manifest is this woman from his past. That's what he's been thinking about. Now I'm single, I have my eyes set on this woman from the past. What is he trying to manifest? Yeah, going on a journey. He's manifesting, leaving other options behind. He's also manifested ending a relationship and he's heading towards this Queen of Cups. He's on a journey. He wants to reunite with the Queen of Cups. All right. So let's have a look at the Queen of Cups. Let's go back and have a look at the Queen of Cups energy. So what was her energy in the past, Michael? What was her energy in the past? The King of Cups. Okay, so she could have got married or she could have ended up in a long-term situation. But I feel as if it didn't last. I feel as if it didn't last. Yeah, wow, Six of Pentacles. So this woman got divorced in the past. She was with a King of Cups, but she felt it wasn't an equal give and take relationship. And so she divorced. Yeah, the star. And she healed. Aquarian energy. She healed. So back to this masculine's energy. Seven of Cups. I think this masculine was in a cold partnership. He may have dipped out and looked at other options. Or at the time that he met this Queen of Cups, she was in a relationship with a King of Cups and he was still sort of playing the field. It can go so many ways. So what was his energy with the Seven of Cups? Mm, the Hermit, Virgo energy. So he looked at other options or he was very confused as to what he wanted. But he ended up with a Queen of Wands. Interesting. Yes, I said at the beginning of the reading he had possibly moved into a relationship with a Queen of Wands. What happened with the Queen of Wands, Michael? What happened? Oh, death card. Okay. Okay, so things ended with the Queen of Wands. She could also have been a Scorpio. But it could also pertain to the fact that she ended things with him because she wanted to be with somebody else. So she could have cheated on him, which is why he sat in the Ten of Swords, because she chose to leave him for someone else. Okay. Yes, five of wands. So there were a lot of arguments and disagreements in this relationship. I think she ran off with a competition. I think she met somebody else and left this guy on his own. So she may have cheated on him. And he found himself divorced or he found himself single. And since that time, he's been working on rebuilding his finances and he's been thinking about coming back to this Queen of Cups, who he somehow realises is available. She's single. So what he's thinking about now is the energy of the hangman. He could be simply thinking of a Pisces, or he could, of course, be a Pisces, sat in Earth energy. But the hangman is him, feeling a little bit stuck in his life, feeling a bit burdened on his own. He's been through it with his partner, He's now single, she's left, she's, I think, gone on to live with somebody else or to marry someone else. And he's thinking about his future. And he's considering reaching out to this Queen of Cups. Mm. Page of Pentacles, yes. 
So he plans on moving towards this Queen of Cups to say, um, I'm actually divorced. He may have a child or children, but he's going to turn up with a gift and touch base with her again. He wants to see her again. He wants to see her again. Yes, because with the Nine of Pentacles, he realises that she's still single. He realises she's still single. Mm. And with the Fool, I think he's going to take that leap of faith. He knows it's a bit risky because he may have walked away from her in the past. Or she may have left him for a water sign in the past, a King of Cups. But he's single and he somehow realises she is too, so he's giving it a chance. Why not? Why not? Temperance. Hmm. <laughs> Sagittarian energy. He is, though, in a temperate place. This is a masculine who may have been all about the passion, the excitement of a relationship in the past. Chose a queen of wands, right? But he got burned by this queen of wands. And he's now thinking back to this woman realising that she was really what he wanted. This is somebody who may simply have grown up. This is a man who may have met this woman when he was in his 20s and now he's in his 60s. It could be something like that. But he's feeling ready to build a life with this Queen of Cups. And he wants it to last. He wants it to last. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, let's have a look at timing. Archangel Michael, when do we have the Ten of Wands and the Wheel of Destiny for the Collective? Thank you, Michael. I'm hearing November. I'm actually hearing November the 18th. So um, we're towards the end of October. So we're looking at possibly two to three weeks time. This masculine may be wanting to communicate with this Queen of Cups. But he's sitting in a lot of stress doing it. <laughs> Bless him. He's sitting in the Ten of Wands. He's feeling really burdened. Because it may well be that these two met. But he chose to be young, free and single. And so she might have moved on with somebody else. A long time ago, there could be some regret somehow that he's feeling. He also, of course, doesn't know if she will still be attracted to him, if he will still be attracted to her. He may not have recent photographs of her, or he may not know if she is even dating someone. I think he knows that she's not married, but he doesn't know the details of her life. So he doesn't know what to expect. So let's see what this masculine wants to relay to this feminine. Why is this masculine sun in the Ten of Wands? Okay. Because this is a woman he may not have seen for a long time. For a long time. He's stressed because he's thinking about the past. Everything he invested in a relationship that ended up in betrayal for him. His partner betrayed him. So he's still reliving the pain of his previous connection. I think he's well out of it. I think he's really happy as ended, but there has been financial loss. And I think he was somehow drawn through the mud, you know? Yeah. So what is on this masculine's mind? Okay, Knight of Wands. In the past, he may have tried to pursue this woman sat in the Queen of Cups, but he was sat in the Knight of Wands in the past. He really wasn't ready to commit. He wasn't ready to commit, or he could have chosen somebody else and regretted it. So he's stressed about that. What is she going to think of me, right? I'm coming back to her after all this time. Tail between my legs, I should have chosen you to begin with. Yeah, he's feeling a bit nervous. What is he going to say to her? Knight of Cups. 
I never forgot you in all this time. I still have feelings for you. I'm hearing after all these years. He's going to be very romantic in his approach. Very tempered in his approach. Yes, Ace of Cups. He is really hoping that if he moves towards her in the right energy, charming, attentive, humble in his energy, Dev's edit, maybe a little bit humble, definitely not sad in ego, she's going to decide to give him a chance. He doesn't know, he's nervous. He's nervous. What is he thinking about? What is he thinking about? The moon. Yeah, he's really nervous. He's got a lot of deep feelings for her. But he's very nervous that she may push him away. Now, she could be a Cancerian, strong Cancerian energy here with a chariot and the moon. Or she could be a Pisces or a Scorpio. But I feel we're definitely connecting here with a woman who is a water sign. Now that could be moon rising or Venus, okay? But he's nervous. He's got strong feelings for her. Why is he nervous? The high priestess. Because she is possibly very intuitive as well. So he knows that he has to be open and honest with this woman. Because she may see through any lies okay anything that he's withholding he knows that she's going to see straight through it so we could be dealing here with somebody who is quite intuitive he's also nervous because with the high priestess there's been no communication between the two of them for a long time for a long time what is he going to say to her apart from the fact that he has feelings for her he wants to date her Four of Swords. He's going to tell her that he spent a while healing. He went through the Ten of Swords. He's going to say to her he went through a very difficult time and he's been thinking about reaching out to her. What else is he going to say to this Queen of Cups? Nine of Swords. That he went through a lot of stress. Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords. Four of Swords, wow, he has had a lot to cope with. What else is he going to say? Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy. He's going to say he went through a very serious tower moment. It could have related to various things in his life. He could have gone through pain, understanding his partner was cheating on him. He went through the Ten of Swords. He could have had a lot of financial loss. He could have had health issues. I feel as if it was one tower after the other for this guy. So he's going to relay all that to her. And with the Eight of Swords, he's been in his mind thinking about reaching out to her for quite a long time. What is her reaction with the Wheel of Destiny? Six of Swords. She's going to relate to him that she was disappointed about the past, but she moved on. She embraced her life. She may say to him, I travelled, I moved, I met someone else. What is she going to say about her situation? Five of Swords. That the person that she was with left her, sabotaged the relationship, ran off with somebody else. Goodness me. And with the Justice card, um, she had to get her life back in balance. She could be a Libra. She could have had issues with a Libra man in the past. She may have gone through a court case herself, gone through divorce. But she's gone herself into a balanced place. Hierophant, Taurian energy. So she could have got married and ended up divorcing. Or with a Hierophant, what she's relaying to this masculine, who could be a Taurus, she could be relaying to him, I thought you were still married. 
And he's saying, no, it ended. It ended painfully. Okay, so what else is she saying to him? Judgment. She's realising that the reason why he's coming back to her is that he does want to build a life with her. He may have learned a lot of painful lessons. He may have grown up. He's matured. He's not, you know, the guy about town that he was before. He has gone through some painful lessons. He's gone through a difficult time. And she's gone through a difficult time too. Both of these people are going to be very open and honest about who they are now and what they want now. She's realising that he's coming in wanting her to make a judgment call to potentially be with him. Mm. Three of Wands. She may say to him that she thought about him at a distance for quite a long time. She wondered how he was. She wondered if he was still married. She may say to him, it's a surprise to see you because you live at a distance from me. You obviously travel to see me. She could be flattered. But what she's realising is her ship's coming in. And he's wanting her to make a decision to build a future with him. How is she viewing him? Yeah, King of Wands. She's still very attracted to this guy. Very attracted to this guy. And she sees that he's taking action to be with her. He's doing all the running. What is the energy between these two? Guys, really, two of cups. These two are actually realising that they still love each other. This is a very deep soul connection. They may also be realising when they see each other that they're still in love, that love never died, and that this may be their one chance to create a really happy home life together for the future. This is a really big decision because these are not two people who are in their 20s. No, no, no. These two people are older, they're wiser, they've been through a lot of life's experiences. And so this is quite a serious decision for these two to make. So collective, we end with the Ten of Cups. So I think these two are going to start dating. They're going to be spending time together. <laughs> Three of Cups, they may be reliving the past. They may be talking about old memories, things that happened to both of them since they've been apart. There's going to be a lot of catching up to do, but a sense of celebration, a sense of celebration. Ooh, and we have the Four of Wands. I feel as if these two are going to realise and I'm feeling very emotional here for someone, that they don't want to waste time anymore. They just don't want to waste time anymore. Let's do this. Let's be together. Let's create a beautiful home. Let's get engaged, right? It's going to be um, surprising. The Empress. I think that this masculine is deciding to make this woman his empress that's the big decision she has to make am i ready for this yeah she's is she's not going to know what to say he's coming in with a really stable offer to commit wow my goodness i mean this is a beautiful set of cards just these. Ten of Cups, Three of Cups, Reunion, talking about creating a beautiful home. With the Four of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles, there could even be a proposal. And this Queen of Cups is needing to make a decision to say yes to becoming this masculine's empress. Okay. Goodness me, guys. 
Eight of Wands, lots of messages of passion. If these two live at a distance, they'll be seeing each other a great deal. Travelling backwards and forwards. Mm. Six of Cups, a lot of reminiscing about the past. Times they spent together, memories they shared. This masculine could be taking this woman to meet his children or his family, his extended family. She could be doing the same. So we could be looking at blending families here, which would be rather nice. Three of Pentacles, they're both keen to put effort into rebuilding this foundation. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles. Collective, this is going to lead to a very serious relationship, possibly marriage, living together, setting up home. There's going to be talk potentially of finding a home because I feel these two live at a distance. So they're going to be talking about where they may want to live in the future. There may be talk about needing to be near family members. How are we going to arrange this? But both are on board. Both of them feel, why wait? We've missed each other. We're both now single. We're reaching, I'm hearing the autumn of our lives. Let's just do this. Two of Wands, yes. These two have a decision to make as to where they want to live. They could be looking at various areas. They could be wanting to live halfway house between their extended families. But I feel that we've got two people who are realising that this could work. And the love is still there. Six of Wands. Somebody may be wanting to leave a job and get a job elsewhere. We could also have two people here who are deciding to retire together. <laughs> this is such a lovely reading. The sun. So there's going to be a lot of happiness. Again, these two people may be traveling, trying to find somewhere to live. They could be going on holiday together to just have some quiet time away from everyone else. What is the Queen of Cups energy, Michael? What is the Queen of Cups energy? The strength card. Beautiful. So she's going to need a lot of courage to move forward into this. I think she may have had a difficult time in the past. I also feel, I don't know why, I also feel with the Sun and the Strength card, she could have Leo in her chart. She may decide to wait until they have a very special holiday together to be intimate. I don't know why I feel that. She may want to make it really special. They may be booking time away. And during that time away, they're going to delve into the intimate side of this connection. So she may hold back until she feels really ready for the physical side of the connection. And they're going to make it really special. They're going to be going away for some close time, for some together time. Yeah, I think, I think I feel that. I think I feel that, yeah. <laughs> Ace of Wands. So she may hold back um, until they plan some time away together. I think that's what she's going to do. But Collective, this is a really beautiful reading. It's as if this was meant to be. Eventually, we were going to end up together, right? Nine of Cups. A lot of celebration, a lot of happiness, cracking open the champagne. It's celebration time. Yeah. And I feel that these two will finally realise that they can move on and sort of forget about the past. Forget about the issues, the drama, the problems, betrayed by their partners maybe. They're going kind to of just move on. They're just going to, yeah, move on. Ace of Swords. They're both cutting out the past and they are starting afresh. So guys, this is a really lovely reading. Two people coming together who haven't seen each other for the longest time. 
There's going to be a lot of celebration, a lot of reminiscing about the past, happy memories of when they met, talking about what happened individually to both of them whilst they've been apart, blending families, possibly maybe a luxury holiday somewhere hot where they're going to be enjoying getting intimate. And these two are going to be building a life. They could even be a proposal in the future. So I think from here, Collective, let's move into messages. So messages of the heart. Let's just see what comes through. This is a beautiful deck. Let's just see what comes through. Leap of faith. They did not expect this love to run this deep. They're putting their pride aside and taking that leap of faith. Beautiful. Breaking free. They're freeing themselves from their self-imposed prison and leaving behind all that kept them away from you. Yeah, this is someone going for it. <laughs> watching you. They've been watching your social media to see what you post and get clues to know how to approach you. So for my feminines out there, whoever this guy is, has been keeping tabs on you. Divine intervention. They're experiencing many tower moments in their life where it's helped them gain clarity on this connection. So for some of you, this is someone who's gone through an awakening. The journey. This love journey may be long and challenging, but so long as you are with them, you'll never walk alone. I think this is divinely guided. Wow. Okay. Past life. Their soul recognized your soul from the moment they met you. They knew that you were the one they'd been waiting for. And it's all going to happen. Brewing up. Be ready to expect the unexpected because something is brewing and it's gaining momentum. They're about to reach out, guys. This masculine is about to reach out. Breakthrough. They're planning right now to come towards you to ask for a second chance. Expect communication real soon. Yep, they're on their way, guys. They're on their way. So I think around about the middle to the third week of November, this person is going to be communicating. Okay. So guys, this has been a beautiful reading. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm leaving it there. Have a fantastic full moon in Taurus. And I will be back before you know it with your next set of readings. Bye now.